we finally have the workshop set up. And you know what that means? We get to customize this. So this is the first time that I've really like sat down in this space, the workshop, and brought something down here to customize kind of like this. And this is gonna be a gas mask for a new wrestling entrance gear. And I think the first step to really doing this, if we quickly flick to the overhead camera, is figuring out exactly sort of the look we want to go for. So let's try fitting it on my face first. Whoops. How funny does that look? So there's all this like empty space down here where the beard is that I don't like. I'm happy with how it sits up here and like around here and the straps and everything. But I'm not super happy with the amount of space that we have there. The other thing is it's a really hard plastic sort of part on the inside that you can see. And I want to come up with some sort of fix for that. Other than that, concepting, I think it's just going to be a case of we wing it. First things first, we're going to cut out a little bit of foam to use for the chin plates. Using a nice sharp box cutter. We basically just cut sort of a rough section of what we want and then we get these nice smooth lines. And what I might also do is remove these straps and we should probably remove these air filter bits which apparently have circuitry inside them because the fan actually like spins around on the inside so first things first we want to sort of shape this chin guard And I kind of want to have it on the inside and then blend it. To the outside a bit. So then if we glue it on the inside like that. And then have it considerably trimmed down. So that covers there, and then if we have it bent a bit more like that, and then we'll sort of contour it a little bit. I want to make it look almost as if it's an extension of the mask itself. A little bit, and then start heating it up. It's very important when you're heat gunning as well to be careful not to burn your hands. The perfect shape. So we're just going to hold that there until it cools down. So then we're just going to come along here, along the inside, 
Give me the Hulk glue gun. So now the next step is to just <laughs> wing it with this texture paste stuff. Oh wow, this is really thick. This is a lot thicker than I thought it would be. So I'm just kind of going to brush it along. It's almost stuff like you want to apply with a knife. What we'll do is we'll take one of our little foam offcuts, scoop some of this texture paste on, and then sort of just smear it all where the seam seam is. I don't know how long this stuff is supposed to take to dry, so we're gonna just. Accelerate it with the heat gun. So we've been letting this stuff dry for just over half an hour now. And while I don't think it's fully dry, I think it's actually at a point where we can work on it. Leave that to dry as we go work on another piece. So after a few coats of Plasti Dip, this is our result. And the mask, uh, I'm actually really happy with the shape and look of it because it looks almost like a neck guard, though it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't really protect the neck, it's more of a chicken guard. Um, so now, I should probably wait for this to dry a bit more, but I'm just gonna wipe off the excess Plasti Dip with a rag. So I think we're just gonna go coat it with some white paint now, and I will check back in tomorrow when we let the coat dry overnight. Alrighty, so we've left it overnight. So originally I toyed with the idea of having the lenses be just clear, like they are now. But they take up a fair amount of space, so I think dimming them is, or tinting them I should say, is actually the right choice. So I got some of this uh, Turn Day Into Night Translucent Black Lens Paint called Nightshades, and we're going to spray that on and see how it looks. So the idea I have with mask is to just mask off most of it with some tape and leave two strips on it that we are going to paint in orange. So time to do the masking now. So that's the lens, and you can barely see through it, which is kind of what I was going for, so it'll be interesting once it's together, though there's still 
some of the stuff on there. And then we have the mask, which I've got to take the tape off of. Now, of course, there's lots of bits of tape, so. can barely see through that. I can see light, but I can't really see where I'm going. So we might need to uh, sand that down just a tad. Do something like this. Can I see out of this? Barely, but yes, I can. So now we come to the fun part, which is weathering the mask, which just involves taking a pair of scissors and then going, I want a cut there. Um, a nice big one there. I want some chunky sort of ones there. I want it to look like it's been hit in that part repeatedly. Then we get file and just file down some bit there and then we get sandpaper and just drag the sandpaper across so for this technique, all you need to do is go dig a hole or grab some gravel or some dirt, grab your mask and just roll it around really getting deep in some parts and now we go give it our final coat of matte spray. And there we have it. Our gas mask that we can barely see out of is uh, finished. I don't think I'm going to put the big filters on because I don't think it looks that good. I will go have a quick look in the mirror um, and see if it's something I like. But I kind of like the bare open bits as they are. So, that is it for this episode of my workshop series where we come in here and we build props and cool little things like that. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or queries, hit us up in the comment section below or on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or check back every single Wednesday where we post a new episode of either this or Jerusalem Quest. And if you have any comments or ideas or like just projects that I could tackle in the future, hit us up in the comment section below. 
that is it for this episode. I will see everybody in the next one because the quest never ends.